Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Bianca Janelle. I make videos on lifestyle and today I have a skincare video. We are going over skin gym face tools. I'm so excited to go over this. I've actually had this for a couple weeks now. I wanted to go ahead and test out the tool so I can give you guys my first impression. So if you guys want to see, then please keep watching. So like I said in the intro, we are going over skin gym face tools. I just kind of wanted to treat myself and kind of upgrade a couple of my face tools and I've heard a lot of amazing things about them. I always see them on Instagram so I figured it was time to place my own order. I went ahead and I ordered two products. I figured that was a good way to start and that way if I really enjoy them then I will keep purchasing and sharing with you guys. So I want to do, go ahead and do a little unboxing with you guys so this is how it came. I am such a sucker for packaging. I think it's a huge thing especially when working with brands like how they present their packages so the fact that they put a lot of effort into this I think says a lot and then in here are the two face tools that I got so the first one I was super excited about which is the Cleo Gua Sha tool I've been really getting re I've been really getting into Gua Sha a lot lately I just love the way that it makes me feel and it's such a moment of time where you could just really pamper your own skin really fill out your face so I've actually, so I actually do have another washout tool and I just figured it was time to go ahead and upgrade it so I went ahead and got this one. And the reason why I really like this one you can see in the packaging is all of the different contour sides it has. So it's not just really one dimensional, you can see you can do a lot of different things with this. And in this video I'm going to show you how to use these tools as well, but I wanted to just show you guys how it came. And in the back it says, our gua sha is specifically designed to fit every contour of your face, enhancing your natural beauty and providing the most relaxing facial and body massage. Achieve ultimate radiance and relaxation as you enjoy glowing skin with this gorgeous tool. And in the back right here it even shows you how you can go ahead and use this tool. And then the other tool I got was this little spoon right here. I just don't have anything like it, so that's why I wanted to pick it up. And I've been really into focusing around my eyes lately. Um, just with it being allergy season, my eyes are so dry. Like You can even see like they're really red and puffy, which just isn't normal for me. So I saw this little sculpting spoon, and I was like, ooh, I definitely need to try that because it's because it definitely works around your eyes. In the back it says our skin facial sculpting spoonie is made for precision work all over your face to lift, sculpt, and rejuvenate. Perform your exercises on a freshly cleansed skin after applying your serum and moisturizer. Rose quartz is the ultimate love stone promoting self-love in particular. It also is the ultimate beauty stone. Infuses your face with all the properties of rose quartz and excludes a feeling of unconditional love and infinite peace. So like I said, I've already had these for a couple weeks, so I've already been testing them out, and I love them so much. So I figured I would go ahead and show you guys how I use them. So let's put my hair back. So when you're using these tools, you definitely want a very clean face. I'm fresh out of the shower. Actually, it's very early in the morning. So I took my shower, and you can see my face is bare. Um, and the reason why I definitely be getting into gua sha and just facial massage is because I always wake up with such a puffy face. And this definitely helps give myself a natural contour, which I love. It helps promote lymphatic drainage. It pushes out all the toxins out of your skin. So it's something that I reach for every morning. And I do this in the evening as well because in the evening, to me, it's like my time to unwind, practice a little self-love. So, I yeah, that I was super excited about this order. So when you're using these tools, you always want to apply an oil or a serum onto your skin. You never want a tool to tug your skin. You want it to literally glide over. So I like to use something pretty dense when doing my facial massage. Um, I like the Biosan Swelling Oil. I've mentioned this in previous videos it's very dense so the tools literally glide over my skin after applying this and make sure to apply it to your neck and your chest as well so you can see definitely very oily very dense and thick so you can see right here there's definitely a lot of different ways to use your tools there's all these different contours and shapes so the way you want to start is actually you want to start 
from the bottoms of from your chest and work your way up to your face you actually hold a lot of liquid in your chest so you want to drain it out so you always want to kind of push it towards your armpit like this right here so either you can use this side or even like using this side it's kind of like a little comb to your skin and I like going over an area about like five to eight times and just pushing it out and then you make sure to do it to the other side and then we go to the neck so with the neck I like using this shape right here because I feel like it perfectly because I feel like it perfectly contours to your neck so you're just going to want to push up it's actually really relaxing. Also, I should say, don't go like this, like straight forward. You want it to be like at an angle and push up. Then when it gets to your face, I like taking this shape right here. See how it perfectly fits into the contour and see how this point right here this is normally where a lot of us would go ahead and place like our makeup contours. So that's kind of how you want to think of it. And push up. And even with this right here, you can get right under your eyes. Now, you're like, if you're going to be pushing the toxins out, where do you put them? So make sure that you drain it all since we pushed everything up. Now we're going to drain everything back. So you can use the back of your neck to drain out all that excess fluid and toxins. So again, just go over it. And then you can even get where your chin is right here. And just start sculpting out your chin. So remember, you always want to move upwards. Don't drag this tool down to your nose. Drag it up to your ear. And you don't have to have a hard pressure on it at all. You can have a really light pressure and just like enjoy this experience. It should be time. It should be you time. So, and look, you can already start to see the difference in my face. Like look how this one is already sculpting out compared to this side. And then we are going to go ahead and then do it to this side. So I just flip it the other, so I just flip it the other way to fit the side of my face. So you can already start seeing how this is already sculpting in too. You don't, and also you don't have to just use this side. This tool is very customizable, so you can even take this side and push up. The reason why I like using this side though to get right here is just because it gives you that natural contour line, so you can kind of just follow it. But like I said, you really can use this tool any way you can go like this and bring it up this way. You guys, know, have fun with this tool. You don't have to just do it any particular way. And then, don't forget the forehead. So actually, when I get to the forehead, I kind of like to wiggle right here. This is actually where I'm starting to see fine lines and wrinkles. So I like to like brush them out. <laughs> And it's just as easy as that. So you can really see in my face definitely looks a lot better there than when I first started. It's not as puffy. It definitely has just a little bit more structure. And that is a natural way to do it. So that's why I love using this tool. And then we have the little spoonie right here. This is really nice to actually place in the fridge before using it because especially myself, I like using this tool specifically for my eye area. So it's nice to have like depuff it. So you can take the spoon right here and you're always going to want to lift up. And it just fits like perfectly into your little eye hole, eye hole eye contour I don't know there's like a little placement right here and it literally just fits perfectly now what I love I literally could just do this for hours I love taking the point right here 
and going like this it just relieves we hold a lot of tension in our forehead obviously like while working and anything else that we do we hold a lot of tension right here we're always squinting so again there's just like a lot of tension right here so this helps relieve a lot of it helps relax the muscle and it feels so good i don't know why this movement is just like one of my favorite movements and it's like a natural eye lift look how this how this eyebrow already looks higher than this one so literally you literally give yourself like a natural eye lift so that's why i like using these tools because it's not like again i'm not against getting work done i will get there at some point i'm sure but this is a natural way to do it and i kind of rather do it the natural way for as long as i can so i like to do this to kind of give myself a little eye lift in the morning and then right here where i call them the 11s you can see one two 11s i like going like this like kind of like i'm erasing them i mean again it's not really doing that but it's just to help relieve some of the pressure right here again you can also use this to go ahead and contour your face as well to me it's just easier to use a bigger stone than this but this tool is multifunctional as well i just like using it under my eyes And that's how I use my facial tools so I have to say I am pleasantly surprised with skin gym their tools just feel luxe they feel like very high quality tools they don't feel like tools that you get like a TJ Maxx or something and I say that because I have used TJ Maxx tools which I think is totally fine but these tools just feel a little bit more luxe a little bit more upgraded so I feel like if you have been using your skincare tools for a while and you know that it's something that you do on a daily basis then i say it's worth it to upgrade it to a little bit of a nicer tool and i really love these i definitely will be placing more orders with them i think that they make great gifts to give people and it's just a great time to practice a little self-care here and there so in the comments down below tell me what video you guys want to see next should i test out another skincare tool brand i'm kind of looking into other skincare tool brands just because i was so pleasantly surprised with this one so i'm kind of just doing my research on it or if there's like another skincare product line or brand that you want me to try leave it in the comments down below and if you guys like this video well, make sure you give it a thumbs up and you subscribe to my channel and i'll catch you guys in the next video bye